Hard space is a future that we've kind of uh, created set in the 2300s or so, not too far out. And it really speaks to humankind's kind of uh, expansion into the solar system. There's a, a company called Lynx, and they're kind of at the epicenter of this growth uh, and this exploration and discovery phase for humankind, where they built these huge electromagnetic rail gates, which connects Earth to Mars and a bunch of other planets and resource-rich environments. It allows these ships to travel back and forth. You're essentially playing a, a zero-G surgeon working on these ships, figuring out what makes them tick. And it's dangerous work, but it's satisfying work. So the player has two primary tools. They've got their grapple tool, which lets them move large pieces of metal or use it to sort of swing around the level as if they were spider manning through it. And they've also got their laser cutter for cutting through pieces of metal. And both of these things you become super familiar with and you learn to master, but you can also, through the progression system, get add-ons for these tools or upgrades for them. Obviously, one of the main goals for the player is to become an expert and really just to overcome uh, the challenges and the adversity of the experience. So I would say, you know, having the, the sense that you've overcome things and become sort of the coolest space cowboy chopping up spaceships is, is enjoyable, not just for the player, but for people watching as well. It, it's incredibly enjoyable to see someone that's really good at the game. Over time, you can get more precise tools, but you can also get macro and get more and more powerful tool sets. So you can kind of pick your poison with, with what kind of player you want to be. When it came time for us to design and develop the controls for this game, we knew it was going to be complicated for new players. So we put a lot of effort into making sure that it was one of those, it's that sweet spot of um, easy to pick up and play, but difficult to master. It's very important to us that the players feel like they can approach these ships however they want and they can be creative. So we simulate as much as we can about the physics of the ships and we don't really dictate how they can approach them in, in terms of salvaging them. So the players can be really creative about how they use the physics and their tools to tear the ships apart. To do this we had to put a lot of effort into how are we actually simulating this many objects in the game. Even the things that are off screen still have to be simulated because it's affecting the whole bay, the whole ship that you're working on. And the more you play and the further you progress in the campaign, the bigger the ships get, the, the more complicated they get, um, the higher value of the pieces that you can pull from it become, but also on the flip side, the, the more dangerous they become. So it takes more thinking, it takes a higher skill level, it takes you upgrading your tools and your equipment and your helmet and your suit. The goal with this game was not to make, say, a puzzle experience, but definitely to make people feel like they're approaching similar problems in a different environment and from a different angle every time so that they never fall into a routine, but that their routine job sort of delivers unique challenges and experiences every time that they go through it. So even if you're cutting up a similar type of ship, having the systems work in a different way, having elemental components interact in different spaces, is going to force the player to approach things with a fresh lens every time. Totally, and like micro decision making is going to uh, vastly change um, the gameplay in a second. So you're not going to get the same experience each time. We really embrace this idea of systemic design, which is all about providing this fertile ground for emergent gameplay experiences, either things that the player is experiencing or things that they can do. And it really rewards player creativity with experimentation. Um, and that's something that we find really exciting. We've seen so many interesting strategies emerge and interesting scenarios emerge as people play this game, and we're extremely excited to see more as we enter early access. If you've ever said to yourself as a player, I want to be part of the process of making this game. This is your opportunity. If you join us on Discord, if you join our conversations, if you give us feedback, uh, this will be a chance to really get involved in the development of the game. For four years, it's only been our studio, essentially, that's played this game. And having the opportunity to open the doors for hopefully thousands of players to come in and, and start just getting more and more feedback. I mean, we think chopping up spaceships is cool with, with powerful tools. Um, and from the early kind of response from what we've put out there, sounds like there are some others out there. We want to hear what those players want out of this experience.